In the 2020 March update of Rust, the developers over at Facepunch added a new alternative use for CCTV cameras, the ability to use them as an elaborate method of surveillance. So in this video I'll be showing you everything you need to know about CCTV in Rust as of the Farming 2.0 update. The first thing you will need to build your own surveillance system or to access the cameras at monuments is a computer station. The easiest way of getting one is by buying one at the outpost. You can do this at the vending machine labeled building for 300 scrap. The other way to get one is by finding a blueprint and then crafting one. The most likely place you're going to find a blueprint is the cargo ship with a 22% chance, and in second place we have the launch site, the large oil rig, and the military tunnels all with a 12% chance. After this you'll need to find the things needed to craft the computer station. 20 high quality metal, 1 targeting computer, 1 RF broadcaster, and 1 RF receiver. The targeting computer can be found in toolboxes and military crates, and the electrical components can be found most commonly in regular crates and military crates. With these resources, you can now craft the computer station at a level 2 workbench. Despite what makes sense, fortunately the computer station doesn't need electricity to operate. Now that you've placed your computer station, before we cover making your own surveillance system, first I'll show you all the public CCTV camera identifiers grouped by the monument they are located at. I'll go through the monuments in alphabetical order. Before we start however, I'd like to highlight that CCTV camera identifiers are case sensitive, meaning that you have to type them the exact same way as they are shown here. I'd also like to mention that the identifiers of all the default cameras at monuments are written in all capital letters. I'll be showing the identifiers of all the cameras in a view of what that specific camera can see. First of all, we have the airfield with one CCTV camera with the identifier Airfield Helipad. Next up, we have the bandit camp with two cameras, with the identifiers Casino and Town Weapons. Next up, we have the dome, which also has two cameras, with the identifiers Dome 1 and Dome Top. The next monument on our list is the large oil rig, with a total of 13 cameras. Here's the list of identifiers. Oil rig 2 Dock, Oil rig 2 Exhaust, Oil rig 2 Heli, Oil rig 2 L1, Oil rig 2 L2, Oil rig 2 L3A, Oil Rig 2 L3B, Oil Rig 2 L4, Oil Rig 2 L5, Oil Rig 2 L6A, Oil Rig 2 L6B, Oil Rig 2 L6C, and Oil Rig 2 L6D. Next up we have the Oil Rig with 5 cameras with the following identifiers. Oil Rig 1 Dock, Oil Rig 1 L1, Oil Rig 1 L2, Oil Rig 1 L3, and Oil Rig 1 L4. And the final monument to have CCTV cameras is the Outpost with 4 cameras. They have the following identifiers, Compound Chill, Compound Crude, Compound Music, and Compound Street. Now let's cover the properties of CCTV cameras. The ones at monuments have slightly different properties than the ones you can place down. A property of CCTV cameras in general is that you can change the direction they are facing remotely. Unlike cameras you can place down, cameras at monuments are indestructible no matter where you shoot them or what you shoot them with. The only way to stop them from seeing you is by launching a smoke grenade directly under the camera. Cameras placed by players on the other hand only have 150 health, which can easily be destroyed by 9 handmade shells fired from any kind of shotgun. When shooting, you've got to keep in mind that the only part of the camera you can damage is the arm holding it, as the upper part of the camera for some reason takes no damage at all. If a camera is higher up, I recommend that you ladder up to it and build a twig platform, so that all the shotgun pellets hit. Now that you know all about what cameras can do, before I show you how to set them up in your base, let's talk about where to find CCTV cameras out in the wild. The following chances only apply if you collect all the crates at said monument, including the puzzle area. The best tier 1 monument is the dome with a 25% chance of dropping a camera, the best tier 2 monument is the airfield with a 52% chance, and the best tier 3 monument is the military tunnel with a 75% chance of dropping a CCTV camera. Also, completing the cargo ship has an 89% chance of dropping a CCTV camera, and if you're lucky then you can find CCTV cameras inside toolboxes with a 3% chance. Now let's move on to placing down that camera. After placing a camera you will need to be able to supply it with 5 power in order to use it. Just like most items in Rust, CCTV cameras can be picked up with a hammer after you place them. You can set the direction a camera is facing if you have building privilege and a hammer in your hand by pressing the use key on it. And the most important thing you have to do is set the identifier of the camera. You need to make sure that the identifier can't easily be guessed by random people, as you probably don't want them looking at your cameras. 
If you want a truly unhackable camera, just mash your keyboard randomly or paste in a random YouTube video ID. To change the identifier of a camera, you need to have building privilege and then all you need to do is walk up to the camera and press your use key on it. Lastly, if your camera is damaged, it can be repaired for a maximum cost of one high quality metal and one tech trash. So finally, you're ready to counter door campers and set up elaborate camera systems. I hope this video helped you with CCTV and Rust, and if it did, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. If you really enjoyed this video, consider joining my Discord server or becoming a patron on patreon.com slash thememishgamer. I'd like to thank Gucciberg, Dimitri, Doge Bond, Bothered Nickel, and Jem for being my patrons. And thank you guys so much for over 4,700 subscribers.